Hello, my presentation is on the iPad. The Apple iPad is an 8x10 inch touchscreen tablet computer that combines features of a smartphone, a laptop, and an iPad, and a gaming system. It was first released in April of 2010. There are two iPad editions, wireless and wireless with 36. The iPad has many benefits no matter how much storage is available. First off, I will tell you some of the benefits of the iPad. The iPad is lightweight, it is 1.5 pounds and 0.5 inches thick. The battery life lasts up to 10 hours. The iPad also works for extended airplane trips. If you have not used the other Apple devices, the iPad is instinctively easy to learn and master. It has a high resolution LED backlit screen that is bright and crisp. It is designed with a multi-touch screen, which makes it very responsive. Apps are the heart of the iPad. It can also store text files, video, audio files from class recordings, and more. It also connects to a lot of different accessories. Now I will tell you about some of the drawbacks. There are no USB slots. There is no screen protector. You cannot install Skype and it doesn't support flash so you cannot play flash games or watch online videos. The cost of the iPads are not cheap. It is not as handy as a laptop. The keyboard is sold separately and there is no camera. The iPad has impacted businesses, media, healthcare, and gaming. It is quite remarkable. It has managed to directly involve businesses in technology. Book publishers, newspaper and magazine publishers, music producers, and TV studios capitalize on the iPad's features, experiencing a shift in the media industry. The iPad's contribution to healthcare is immense. It allows medical professionals to work on a reliable device during their long hour shifts. The iPad also introduced an incredible gaming experience. iPad features 350,000 applications out of which many are video games with enhanced 3D graphics. When it comes down to risks, the only real risk is the same of any other electronic device you buy. Now on to the future of the iPad. People believe that everybody will have a tablet of some kind in the near future, and they also bet that a huge percentage of them will be iPads. It is also believed that in the near future, these iPad tablets will outsell laptop and netbook computers. These may become the primary computing devices for a majority of people in the first world countries over the next few years. But overall, the future of the iPad is really up to Apple and those who develop for iOS. For the iPad, the accessories are the Apple iPad keyboard dock, which averages around $69 the Apple iPad case, around $39, the Apple iPad camera connector, around $29, then the Apple iPad dock connector to VGA, which is also around $29. Lastly, the cost of the iPad ranges from $400 to $900 after taxes. Usually the 16 gigabyte is $499, the 32 gigabyte is $599, the 64 gigabyte is $699, and of course this is Wi-Fi only. Thank you, and if you don't have an iPad, go get one.